All right, so this comes from our very first record. Now, this is the remix, so this is actually a, a bit of a fake. This is a remastered uh, copy, but uh, we had been a bar band for about uh, three years by the time we, we finally made a record, and we were a pretty popular bar band, and we were quite happy with that. Didn't realize that we'd ever make a record, because it was, if you hear this song, if you could imagine what was on the radio at the time, nothing was on the radio like this. It was more Van Halen time and, uh, and things like that. So um, we, believe it or not, this song, Try, was written. I know that the very first one of these was done by Spandau Ballet. And when we were in New York, I was pretty smitten with that song, True. And this record, this song was written as sort of a, a influenced or copied from True. But it never really, <laughs> never really worked in that particular Spandau Ballet way because we were never that kind of band. So when we finally became more of ourselves, Blue Rodeo, then it, then it worked as a, as a kind of a rootsy song. Um, we knew that it was going to be, well, we didn't know it was going to be a song on the radio, but we knew that it was a popular song because we always had to play it twice when we were in bars. Um, we played at the Horseshoe. We used to do three sets in those days. and. People would always come up and say, play that song again. So we knew that it had an effect on uh, um, uh, people that liked music, liked our music. So we made the song. We uh, started our illustrious record career, not putting out Try as the first single, but putting out Outskirts, which was the title track of this record, Outskirts. And uh, that fell flat. That wasn't played by a single radio station. I think it might have been played on one radio station as a feature. And uh, then we put out Try, and it did nothing as well. Um, but there was a postal strike at the time, and that was the day when they used to mail out or courier out records to radio stations. So the, our manager uh, begged the record company to resend it out. And they resent it out, and it, uh, it got to radio stations and it started to do something. And, and it actually changed our lives in, in ways that we couldn't even imagine, but that it was a it was a big song on radio. And uh, one more thing about it, and that is that we all had jobs in those days. And I used to uh, do props for television commercials. And um, there used to be this thing called the seven at seven, the top seven songs on the AM radio station, which was the hit radio station. And when we, we used to stop at seven when we were working and we'd all bet on where Try was. and. Uh, you know, I was bet it was high and everybody was bet it was low. And it was in it was in the top five for weeks, weeks on end. And it all seemed like a joke to me at the time. I just thought that doesn't, you know, it's not doing anything, it's just fun. But little did I know that it was actually creating a desire for us to play all across the country. And then we started to get offers from all across the country. And people would, I remember going to a, a, a going into a, a the airport and some girls screaming when they saw Greg and I and you have to appreciate we'd had you know many years of failure so this was a very unusual thing for us to happen not very many people sang in falsetto in those days so it was uh, I don't know I just did it naturally I thought it was was fun and interesting and, and so uh, so I did it so um, <clears throat> that'd be the story of, of try story done exactly the timing of the song. <laughs>